This really could be lush, couldn't it? Did you just say lush? Yes, I did. Wow. Fifty-six. Wow. Four, six. Hit exactly 56. that spot. Edgar didn't look. He's got darts to win the match. Go well, he knew exactly what he wanted match. to do. He wanted to come out Matthew firing Edgar. against a very tough opponent in John Worsley. And look at the bounce in the step of Matthew Edgar. He tells me he's only a commentator now. Now he's set up a very, very nicely. His second game will be against Gary Stone, but he'd be well pleased with those numbers. He was averaging well over ninth. Well, that's okay. Just got to change the line. The length is perfect. Finds the treble to seal it. 4 2. 95. Majority Rock 1, 92. 3 from 20 on the outer ring. What a dart that is, Michelle van der Horst. That Angel is some finish, flag. to be fair. Michelle van der Horst. Well, after seeing Martin Adams have yet another match dart. Adams, big 16. Done. Good marker as well. Game and he gets there in the air, does Matt? Now, he had his Martin trials and tribulations, and he had his opportunity to see off that game a little bit earlier than that. Michelle van der Horst will be very, very disappointed. He's been superb this week. And you can just see the respect there that he has for Martin Adams. And maybe that was the difference there. But excellent darts from the legend. That is Wolfie. And look at that for friendship. That is a superb picture there. And absolutely great to see for a switch. Matthew Edgar hasn't lost to Gary Stone. With darts like that, he may do. Great Gary start from Gary. Stone. Nothing Edgar can do about it. As the magnetic first dart. We haven't seen him with a max yet. Whoa, we have now. 180. A little Gary bow to the camera. Two. Is it too late? Yes, it is. That was a very good performance from Gary Stone on the back of an excellent performance from Matthew Edgar in the first game. Smiles all around. I think both players, if they walk off the stage, will be thinking they are good enough tonight to qualify for Saturday night. My fear was they're speaking too early. Look at that. Five. Game that was an awesome performance match. from Martin Adams, Martin one of the best Adams. for many, many a year. 97.52, and that looked like a John Worsley of what on earth has just happened to me. It was classy, it was elegant, and it was Wolfie of old. He was absolutely superb. He's the first player to go to four points. None from seven on the doubles for Gary. Game show well, 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 match. Michelle van der Horst, he wins that game 4-0 and Gary Stone I think will be disgusted with that performance, but I think Gary Stone might be just a good thing what's happened to him there, he'll go back, he'll sort himself out, he will come out fighting because Gary Stone is much better than that. Matthew Rockwine, 42. First defeat of the night. Game Edgar is back to match. winning ways. He Matthew opened up the Edgar. night fantastically well. He had that disappointing loss to Gary Stone. And early in that match with Martin Adams there, it looked like Adams was beginning to run away with things. Matthew Edgar suddenly started finding those doubles. Once again, the respect is there. That was clear. And look at that. That's excellent. Magnanimous in defeat as always. Matthew Edgar looks a very, very happy man. He joins Martin Adams on to four points. And it's very much all to play for. John Worsley gets his match. first win and first John two Worsley. points of the night against another disappointing display from Michelle van der Horst. Very respectful in defeat for John Worsley. That's his first win in four over Michelle this week. So some positives. He has got one more game to go. And he'll be booing. He said now hitting in 67. Got the Scottish fans back on his side. Martin with his first max of the Gary match, Rockwell one apiece. 21. All the ones from him, one out of one on the doubles, one, one, eighty, one, one, forty, and one ton. And he's missed the big number. Double four. Game shot on the well, third. There in the end. Let's see what he how he feels about that double four there. Despite not at his best, that's a cracking last start there from Gary Stone. Will he be back? 
Adams is just so good. In situations like Game this, he is so good when it gets down Martin to the nitty gritty. Adams. What a solid finish. Once again, the respect is there. And the respect is from me, Martin Adams. I wasn't so sure about tonight for you. And three wins out of four. Top in the group. You, sir, have been absolutely magnificent tonight and put yourself in a fantastic position. These are types of finishes that Edgar absolutely loves. Big dart. Game Big moments, Gary and he shouts. Matthew Edgar. That could be the real defining moment. It's been In so leg six. Good. Could be the bullseye finish. Game wow, what a finish. And look at that reaction from Matthew, Matthew Edgar. Edgar. Michelle van der Horst will always be. That's really kind, really generous, magnanimous once again in defeat. But what a reaction there from Matt Edgar. He come into tonight, he wasn't sure where his game at, but three wins out of four. He will be absolutely delighted. He's looking at the camera. He's going to give us something. Finish off with a bullseye. We may hear about that again. He'd have to be the happier mess. Yeah, absolutely. Here comes Gary. 123. There's the night out on a high. Game and he's been good on tops in this match. He's been John Worsley. good on his doubles. Four out of eight for Worsley in that one. 50%. An average of 88-41. He's been the most consistent of the evening his opening night campaign on four points two from four there are the numbers as i said 88 41 just the 118 in the match going to the winner john worsley and his leg difference is the big thing for him because he's now on four points plus one michelle van der horst on two points minus one gary stone two points minus seven but out in front on the top is Martin Adams and Matthew Edgar, both on six points, just set, just separated by leg difference. Well, a roundup of the action. Let's go join Glenn and Henry. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. 4 0 victory there for John Worsley, whose night got better a little bit later on in the evening. Yeah, he bounced back very, very nicely, and that's a good sign for John Worsley. He has got a really, really solid game about him, and uh, we have spoken an awful lot about where he's at with his game. He could be dangerous come Saturday night. He's put himself in a good position early doors. He seemed to be really struggling there, so well done, John Worsley. Well, let's have a look at what else has happened then this evening. Ten games have come and gone in Group B. Good nights for Matthew Edgar and Martin Adams, both with Three wins apiece. They've kind of been the two standouts, haven't they? Yeah, Martin Adams, let's start with him there because I had so many doubts. I uh, did spend some time with him recently, commentated on him recently. He was in that grueling group here, which five days for Martin Adams can't be easy. So he's had his woes on this stage, and I thought he bounced back tremendously well. It was a bit of a wobbly start against Michelle van der Horst, but God, he showed some real class towards it. And Matthew Edgar, he didn't really know where his game was at. I think he knows now that he can get through this group. And this passion and his desire when he's up here, what an asset he will be on Saturday night. Well, let's talk about Martin Adams then, because he did have that real panache and he finished off with that ton checkout. And we were wondering what kind of form Martin was in going into this event. Well, he's shown that he's in fine fettle. It's just look at the scoreline. And when it just comes down to the nitty gritty, he has done that for 30 or 40 years. And it was just something we picked up on the uh, commentary box as well. And we said, under these circumstances, there's not many players better. And he just had that real eye of the tiger about him, smashed in the treble 20. And we were waxing lyrical at the time. And bang, double top went in. Big moments. So Martin Adams is a very, very good evening. As too was Matthew Edgar, who, again, when it mattered, came up with some big finishes and look he left nothing on that stage did he yeah and i like that i like that he's, he's he is different and like i said once he started getting his doubles going and he lets his opponent know as well 
Now, some people could get riled, some people could get affected by that. Of course, it's silent, there's no crowd. And look at that. That's what it's all about. And like I said, he loved it because he wasn't sure. He's had his highs in the game. He's had a really bad injury where he didn't even know if he was going to throw a dart again. You know, that's what the mental side of it was. He's got a fantastic life within darts at this moment. But it's nice to know that the darts are still there and he really enjoyed tonight's performance. Could that one play out the wrong way? The yeah, well, I, it certainly would me if you've got your opponent with no crowd and, you know, you've got someone bouncing about and chattering as they're taking the darts out. Yeah, but it, it can be the detriment to, to some, uh, but it can also, you know, get somebody going like a Martin Adams who won't expect it without this silence that we've got in here. But that's, that is, you know, that's how Matthew Edgar plays the game and uh, three wins out of four, he'd be one happy man lucky man but very happy wins are wins are wins let's have a look then at the table for in the end of tonight's session martin adams and matthew edgar both top of the pile both picking up six points john worsley with a very good end to the session having picked up two wins he was bottom of the, of the pile at the halfway point but gary stone's gonna be bitterly disappointed this yeah evening, isn't he? And like i said i just don't know what to say because i do big him up uh even when he's not here and um you know, I purposely didn't tip him this time because, you know, that, you know what my tips are like. He clearly now has to go through the card tomorrow. He has to get himself to 10 points and not worry about what others are doing. He's got a huge game, first game with John Worsley tomorrow. And John Worsley, like I said, he's just so tough that that's not the opener Gary Stone wants. But if he can get through that one, he's just got to aim high, believe, four wins out of four. I know there's still a lot to be decided tomorrow, but if you actually look at the face of it, we could have one of our strongest Saturday night lineups here at the Super Series on Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, Neil Duff will be the happiest man. Of course he's there, but I don't think he's seen anything in Group C or Group B that's going to frighten him. I think it's going to be um, a real mixture on Saturday night, that experience, that potential youth, the exuberance. I mean, it's going to be one of those nights where the crowd can make a difference as well. Imagine Edgar with a crowd. I mean, he's going to absolutely <laughs> love something like that. And the crowd, hopefully, is going to be a good one if Martin Adams can qualify. Martin Adams is potentially only a game away from being here. But the one person I keep referring to is Neil Duff. He sat pretty. He looked good. And I think he's become big, big favourite. Shall we do it all again tomorrow, Glenn? Why not? Why not? Have a good night's kip. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I'll see, well, maybe not a couple of hours. Let's have a lay in first. Right, we'll see you in the morning. At one o'clock, we're going to kickstart our transmission on the Moto Super Series YouTube channel. We'll be back here on Sporty Stuff TV from a quarter to 10 tomorrow night to see the conclusion of Group B, where the Wolf is howling proud at the top of the table and Matthew Edgar bought us some primetime entertainment.